So in this video, we take a look at one method of compression that you need to know about for the exam, and that's called Huffman coding. So Huffman coding is a lossless compression method, and we often use it to compress text documents. Let's take a simple phrase here, which is Peter Piper picked a pepper. That text phrase, including spaces, is 27 characters. A quick frequency analysis will show we've got quite a lot of repetition here. In other words, some of these characters are appearing a lot more than others. The letter P, for example, appears seven times, the letter E six times, whereas lots of them are appearing only once. A Huffman encoding tree allows us to compress this message while keeping all of the data required to recreate the original message. So Huffman coding makes use of what are known as binary trees. Now, this is a data structure that you'll learn about at A level. All you need to know is that with binary trees, we have nodes and each of those nodes can have naught, one or two child nodes, but no more than two, hence the term binary tree. So here is the Huffman coding tree for the phrase we looked at earlier. Now you don't need to create these in the exam, but notice how characters which occur more frequently are appearing towards the top of a Huffman tree. So P and E, which had seven and six occurrences each, are quite close to the top of a Huffman tree. Whereas characters which occur less frequently, like the letter T and C, which appear only once, appear towards the bottom of our Huffman tree. So as just mentioned, you're not going to be required to know how to create a Huffman tree from scratch in the exams, but what you will need to be able to do is to be able to interpret a Huffman tree, calculate the number of bits required to store a piece of data compressed using Huffman coding, and calculate the number of bits required to store a piece of uncompressed data in ASCII and compare the two. So let's take a look at that now. So given the Huffman tree shown here, how could the character P be encoded? Well, you can see that every branch in our binary tree is given a zero or a one, depending whether we're branching left or we're branching right. So we can provide the path taken to reach the letter P. It's one followed by zero, so branching right and then left. So one zero can be encoded to represent the letter P. Now the letter A has a much longer encoding path, it's twice the size, it's four bits. To get to the letter A, we have to follow the path 0, 1, 1, 1. In a similar fashion, the encoding path for the letter K is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. We're branching right, then right again, right again, right again, and left. Now notice how the more popular characters are taking up much less space. Indeed, P only takes up two bits for its encoding. The less popular characters like A and K are taking up more bits, but that's okay as we're using them less frequently. You also need to be able to decode Huffman bit patterns from a Huffman tree you've been given. So if you were given the bit pattern 00, zero you start at the top, you follow the left branch, zero, and the left branch again, zero. So that decodes into the letter E. In a similar way, zero, one, one, zero, decodes into the letter I. And one, 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 zero, one, decodes into the letter C. Now we've encoded each of our characters using the Huffman tree, and we've worked out how many bits it's going to take to store each character, we almost have all the information we need to work out how much space we have saved using this method of compression. So we can see that P takes two bits to encode, a one and a zero, whereas an I takes four bits to encode, 
0110. Of course, we also need to take into account the frequency with which each character appears. So although the character P takes two bits to encode, a one and a zero, there are seven occurrences of the character P. Therefore, this is two times seven or 14 bits. This gives us a total of 79 bits to encode this message using Huffman encoding. Now using normal seven bit ASCII, the original message was 27 characters long. So that would have been 27 characters times seven bits for characters and 189 bits. So we've saved 110 bits by using Huffman coding. 